Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs and we have another bout here. Well, I'm sorry, welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. Today we have Tim Zhu who is going to be fighting uh, Takashi Inoue. And uh, that bout is happening as I see it here. It's going to be happening on November 17th. So uh, looking forward to uh, that. Let's just get let's just get right right to it. Um, Tim Zoo's twenty six. Inoue's thirty one. Uh, Zoo's five eight. Inoue's five eight. Uh, they both are super welterweights. One hundred fifty four pounds. Seventy two reach for both. Zoo is nineteen and zero. No losses. Five knockouts. Has a lot of power. Inoue twenty and one. One loss to Jaime Munguia in a world title fight. So. Let's uh, get right to this. Um, it's a 10 round fight, three minute round, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory eight count, three knockdown rule wave. Let's go. We're gonna, we're gonna see what they have. I, um, I am excited about this bout for Tim Zhu. I just think it's gonna be more of him showing what a very good fighter he is, uh, kind of distancing himself from his dad a little bit more in the sense of creating his own name and we'll we'll have to see. He he comes from, you know, boxing royalty. His father, Kostya, was, you know, highly regarded. Um, and yeah. <coughs> All right. And also today, folks, Olesander Usek upset Anthony Joshua. So the whole thing of like Joshua fighting the winner of Fury Wilder, it's now Usyk. And Usyk's undefeated. Wilder's undefeated. And conventional wisdom says Wilder gets past Joshua. Suddenly it's going to be Tyson Fury versus Olesander Usyk. And that is a, uh, that could be a mega fight. Even though Fury's much more well known, Usyk has a personality. We really haven't seen two fighters with the big personalities like that. And also... Something that, you know, you, you may want to think about. Tyson Fury, before he fought uh, Vladimir Klitschko, dressed up as Batman. And then you had Olesander Usyk, before he fought uh, Anthony Joshua, dressing up as the Joker. So we will have to see. It's getting more and more interesting. So far in this round, Tim Zhu sort of um, pot chopping, picking his spots, lands a hard right hand right there perfectly onto Takashi Inoue. And, um, yeah, this, this is going to be interesting. Uh, it's only a 10-round fight. Um, it's a fight I think that, in a way, could give Zhu issues here and there. But I think, ultimately, Tim, Tim Zhu has the talent, has the speed, has the power, and has the skills. And I think he's going to win. Although, as I say that, in a way, bashing him with overhand rights as we were into the final minute of the first round. And... Uh, Interesting bout. Interesting bout so far. Oh, and Tim Zhu just landing hard shots onto Takashi in a way. All right, and Tim Zhu looking like he's done enough to win that round. Takes it 10-9 over uh, Takashi Inoue. And, um, or 10-9 on two of the judges' cards, even on another. So Inoue doing enough to be even on that as we head out to the second round. Once again, folks, you are watching Boxing Time TV. If you like what you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your family and friends. Please, you know... Uh, give us a like on Instagram or a follow on Instagram. Follow us here on, um, on Boxing Time TV on YouTube. Just want to build this out. You know, that's the thing is people finding out about the page and they seem to enjoy it. And they're like, wow, you know, you should have more, you know, fans. You know, you should have more followers, all this stuff. And I, and I agree, but at the same time, I don't think about that too much. To me, I just want to do it. Um, and if people like it, great. And if you don't like it, that's fine too. 
Uh, it's, it's it's all just about having fun. I wanted to do a boxing podcast. Wanted to do something different. And right now, uh, Takashi Inoue landing. Tim Zhu sort of fighting from a distance, and he could potentially give Inoue an opening to maybe steal some rounds here, fighting like that. If Inoue can be busier, Inoue crashing that right hand onto the face of Tim Zhu. And Zhu looking to land, looking to be a bit more effective. And the thing is, it's interesting. I think the punches from Takashi Inoue are actually straighter. And that is maybe creating some problem for Tim Zhu. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. And right there, in a way, landing, in a way, finding a way to place his punches, landing, and uh, it's what it's what he needs to do, folks. Uh, going to the body is Tim Zhu. Maybe he's hoping later in the fight. This is only a ten-round fight, so you know things he's going to want to do. He may want to work quicker. And, you know, you look at the record of Tim Zhu's beating Steve Spark, Dennis Hogan, Jeff Horn. That was the big one. Jeff Horn was the one that got that, that really sort of said, hey, this guy really is for real. Um, and, you know, he, he just continues to take on top, top level guys. And right there, as you can see, landing straight, uh, very similar to how his dad did it. His dad, when he would land, would just land with those thudding punches one after another. Bah, bah, boom. So it's interesting seeing this now as uh, I, I think, you know, could have could have been even maybe it goes to Tim, Tim Zhu, but uh, Takashi in a way landing hard as well. Ten, he gets it on one of the judges scorecards. Another judge gives it to Zhu. Another judge gives it to Zhu. So um, it's now 59, 56 as we head into the third round of this bout on Boxing Time TV. And yeah, my handle on Instagram is Boxing Time with Evan. Uh, I do um, a few posts a week. Basically, you know, uh, this, it, the, 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 the page is basically promoting what I'm doing here on Boxing Time TV on YouTube, which is the simulated fights. That's the big thing that I'm trying to push. However, every Sunday, I do a, a live show on Instagram called Sunday Morning Boxing Time Talk. And I just talk about the news of the day. I'm going to certainly be, be talking about Usyk Joshua, um, which if you have not watched the simulation that we did here of Usyk Joshua, you should. Because it's one of the best fights that we've ever done. Might even be the, um, the Boxing Time TV fight of the, of the year. Oh, hard uppercut by Tim Zhu. He's landed it twice, and I'm telling you, if there's going to be one punch that could tell the story of the fight, it's that. He's landed it, and he's landed it perfectly. And right then, he got in with a body shot and a head shot with the left. And um, just doesn't seem like Zhu knows what to uh, do. Oh, wobbling and seeming, hurting Takashi in a way is Tim Zhu. Now he's going to the body, folks. And I'm telling you, that's what ultimately does it. Hits to the, hits to the head and then slugging him to, to, to the body. And that is certainly taking, you know, taking a toll on Takashi in a way.
All right, so Zoo breathing heavy, but the judge is having it even, folks. One judge giving that round to Zoo. So Zoo's up by four points going into the fourth round. And in a way, he's not out of this. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, oh. And then he, I, right as I say that, Zoo hits him perfectly with the left hand. And I'm telling you, if he's holding him with the left hand, the, the, the right hand that Zoo is, that, that in a way is taking, the, 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 that uppercut is going to, could, could very well tell the tale of this whole fight. Oh, look at that, and look at Tim Zhu running the numbers, landing the combinations. Oh, look at that. Oh, and Zoo doing a nice job of just dropping that right hand hard. Now, he's starting to throw the straighter punches, although look at way fighting off the ropes, showing that, hey, he may have been wobbled, but he's not out of this fight. Oh, and going to the body. Folks, I'm telling you, it's been a very interesting week of boxing. Also, the Riddick Bowe, Lamar Odom fight. I don't know if you're following that. That is off. Like that just, apparently, uh, everyone's worried about how Evander Holyfield looked at, you know, following the Vitor Belfort fight. So the Bowe thing, they're not even letting that go forward, which, I mean, I guess you could say maybe is unfair to Riddick Bowe because they are two completely different fighters. But, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, landing with the left hand is is Tim Zhu, and he's taking the best from Takashi in a way. He's he he's found a way to land his punches. He's up by a slim margin as we go into the fourth round, and in a way landing to the uh, body. It makes you wonder if Inoue had more power, but you know Tim Zhu up to this challenge. So now they're saying that Inoue is obviously tired. Zoo, they're still saying he's tired. One judge giving it to Zoo. Another judge giving it to Zoo. So Zoo now up by six points as we go into the fifth round. Ken Takashi in a way. Is he going to rally here in the middle of the round? Is he, is he going to wilt? Is he going to spring forward? Does Zoo have him right where he wants him? Or is he going to pot shot him a little bit? And look at that. In a way, landing hard, giving as good as he gets. Maybe he wants to back Zoo up. Maybe get him into the ropes. Maybe show people, hey, I'm not out of this fight. It's a close fight, folks. Anything, anything can happen in this in this game. Oh, Tim Zoo, and as I say that, cracks Takashi Inoue with a left. And folks, I don't think Inoue is going to get up. Wow! Right as I'm saying that, Tim Zoo drew him out. A brilliant performance. Wow! Did not expect that. The winner by a knockout is Kasha Zoo. Wow! That was quick. So the winner is Tim Zhu by a knockout. The fight lasted five rounds. Zhu was not knocked down. In a way, was knocked down one time. As you can see, very, very close. 39-39, 48-38, 40-36. Folks, 40, thank you so much for tuning in to Boxing Time TV. If you like what you've seen, please like, comment, and follow us on YouTube. Uh, tell your family and friends about this. Share these links. Uh, we have a bunch of other fights. I didn't even have time to talk about them, but I'll talk about them next time. Um, Next up, I think we're going to do Chisora, um, uh, Joseph Parker 2. So we will, uh, we will uh, have to see about that. I know there's a Mikey Garcia fight coming up, the Joe Smith fight postponed. He had COVID. Uh, everyone get vaccinated. I'm just going to continue to put that out there. People may like that. They may not like that. Hey, um, unless you can't get vaccinated, I think that you should get vaccinated. 
um, Josh Taylor, uh, Jake Catterall. So we're, you know, these are all bouts. Um, also, there's Jaime Munguia for Sergey Derogonchenko. I'm going to try to do them as I can. Thank you so much for tuning in, folks, to Boxing Time TV, where our motto here is, why wait? Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Why wait? Watch it now. Then watch the real thing when it airs and compare. And that was a... That's a highlight reel knockout for Tim for Tim Zoo. A terrific performance against a really sharp, solid boxer.